Hey everyone, how is it going? I'm not going to be super loud right now. It is 1am in the morning. I've worked in about, what, six hours, something like that. The season starts at eight hours. Um, so, yes, but it sounds crazy that I'm recording right now, but I felt like I couldn't miss this opportunity and give you guys an update. I'm excited that I've actually made progress. So hear me out. It's going to be a quick video. It's late. I'm tired. Like I said, everyone's asleep, so I need to shut up and get to bed soon. So if you haven't watched my video from yesterday, please do. It's about gear problems, me not wanting to commit to upgrading weapons, armors, helmets, whatever, whatever, whatever. So do have a look at that. It's like a first part of this video. However, if you're just here for an update on sort of season five, what I'm going to be doing, etc., then I can give you in this video as well. So let me run through what key decisions I've made and the impact they've had to my commanders. First of all, I've gone with the good old Gandalf. I have made some changes, as you can see here. I have dropped his Noldor sword. This Noldor sword is currently outstanding. I'll run on to this in the end, uh, at the end of the video. So hang fire to the end of the video because I want you guys, your guys suggestions again. You really helped me in the last video. So I want your guys suggestions to help me again. So hang fire to the end, I want your suggestions. But you can see here, I switched from the Noldor Sword to the Carver. This actually increased my might by four, increased my focus by 14. It actually puts about a 0.7% damage reduction across all my units, across all the attacks, which is great. It's also increased my army attack for men and evil men. Obviously, men is the key thing on me. Um, especially going on of the season, I'm going to have the likes of Sharpshooters, I'm going to have the likes of Ranger of the North, Cataphracts are going to be available to me, Guards of the Tower, etc. like that. All of them are men, so I'm going to be focusing on a lot of men. You can see as well, I've therefore gone for men strength. We've got a 4 or 5, a 7.4% increase in damage for our men units. It's going to be huge. We do lose around about, about I think it's last time I checked, was 10 to 15k worth of damage from mind split. I believe I'm going to easy get that back from the damage dealt of 7.4% on the men strength easily in my eyes easily so that's going to be interesting to get that you'll have seen here i dropped my scale mail for mithril coat why have i done that i needed to free up um, scale mail i needed to free up um, items in the purple armor section so i could uh, push scouts mail to max and i could uh, sort of like focus sort of getting theoden to max as much as possible and we can even look at now even possibly switching into superior hauberk for theoden or other commanders in the future we can now max him and get like sort of like what well, probably a three star refinement of fire protection to 40 percent reduction there so that's gonna be huge as well Mithril Co, great suggestion by somebody, and should check who that is, but I am not, I've not got it actually in front of me, but there was a suggestion that I should be thinking about uh, Mithril Co as being it, uh, because actually I can, you could go to the shop each time, uh, which is a great idea, and I, I love that example, and um, I will post their name in the comment section because actually I really like that idea, uh, but I can't find the name right this very second. I don't want to waste time on the video. So Mithril Co, what if we end up getting, we have dropped some might, one of 15 might, which made us lose probably about 0.5 to a percent of damage. A shame, but we'll deal with it. We have, however, gained 24 defense. Um, we used to have 15, so we've got an extra nine defense. That'll probably lead to about a 1% damage reduction, something like that. I haven't got the damage calculation again in front of me, but that will lead to a decent damage reduction. And we've got this big thing here of first three rounds allied units damage received minus nine percent so a huge damage reduction in the first three rounds which are the most important rounds for all units that's ranged units and melee but previously i was only reducing the melee damage so really happy to get this because we're going to use range of the north we're going to use lots of range um, lots of dunedains like we're going to use in everything and this will protect all of them which is awesome to see so really happy with this quite happy i wish i could get it higher but um, i'm not willing to um i can't get i can't do that right now so maybe in the future but um, i'm happy with that it's an equivalent of the purple uh so quite happy we've then got trapper's hood no change there and we're using the one smoking pipe 
no change there. This will swap later in the uh, season. I will swap it over to the Wizard Firework, uh, where I will be either going for the ranged damage, or if we're against someone like Rohan, then I'll be switch switching to the against enemy units, the Bane of Mounted Units was what I will be doing. So we'll see how that goes. But let's go into that commander. We'll go on to Theodem. You can see here I have Max's Scout's Mail and I have got a four star refinement horseman helm now. So we've boosted his might and speed, which means damage. We've incre we've increased the 10% in 10% evasion. We've also increased our damage and defense on the horseman's helm. I'd love to get this higher, but I am not quite sure on this yet. I still need more work on this. And you can see here I've still got the Reach the Ridder mark. I can't max a cutlass. I could max it in terms of the strengthen, but not refinement. Uh, but still need some help on this. Do you think I should push Reach the Red Mark? I'm not going to go to his, um, his rank 10 item, and that's where we're going to ask for your advice in a second. I'm not going for rank 10. I think Reach the Red Mark could do everything we need, and I think we could be using an old or sword, but hang fire, and that's where I want the advice now. Also on the uh, the last item and the accessory for Theoden, I think I'm going to be pushing Fiddle of the Eldest up. Um, his best in slot is Fiddle of the Eldest, uh, and rather than second win though, it is the melee damage boost. So I will strengthen this. I will get it higher. Um, do you know what? We might as well do that right now and. Let's get rid of the reinf reinforcement thing. I don't want the Lothlorien belt. Not really that focused. It's all right, but um, I'm not majorly fussed with it. So we'll do it right now. We'll push Commander Speed. We'll push Commander Focus. And we'll even refine it because... Um, push that sort of heal up as well. Um, no harm at all. But we will change that to the Melee Might once we get that. Uh, but quite, quite possible I'll be pushing that further now. Now, this is where my question is and where I need your help, and we're going to do it in the next two minutes where you can get this. Gandalf, I've picked, fine, geared up, ready to go. We've got Theoden, geared up, ready to go, quite happy with his stats right now. Uh, we could possibly push his Reach of Middle Rock further. But the point is now, do I push his Reach of Middle Rock further? And that question comes from who's my third main? Okay, we have the likes of Galadriel, which is of Respect 5. We have the likes of Dwarling, Respect 13. We, or we have the likes of Gimli, Respect 7. I believe I have an issue right now that's against good. Against good, I'm going to have issues. I don't know how I'm going to deal with them. I don't know how I'm going to get past uh, their, um, their avoidance, etc. I need Pursuit. This is where I believe Gimli is going to come into his own because of his R10 item uh, that gives Pursuit. It's huge, it's amazing versus He also does Open Wound, so stops healing. Absolutely amazing, I think we're gonna go with Gimli, but I need this help. What do you guys think? Dwar Dwarlin, Gimli, Galadriel, what weapon should I be aiming for on these now? Um, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I want any advice you can give. Uh, because I'm a bit stuck on who's my damage commander. Do we go for brute force? Do we go for anti um, anti evil? Um, will I do enough with the uh, the blinding barrier anyway to deal with sort of evil anyway with Gimli, um, as well as then sort of smashing um, good good's face in as well? Or do we wail out on Galadriel, get a um, huge fine smoking pipe and kick ass with it? Uh, plus 12 percent damage 40 focus 2 hp uh we can go noldor sword on galadriel as well and wait maybe even we can wail out on this and get a max on that um and then what do we do therefore in their in her armor probably scale mail what do we do with a helm probably this one helm let me know what you think we've made progress though i'm quite happy um let me know what you think what is next who's my third commander and what gear therefore should we push let me know your reasons as well because I, I need some help with this third commander. Catch you all soon. Thanks for the help, guys. See you know.